When we think about childhood, most of us think about play. It's the best part of growing up and the source of some of our happiest memories. Hi, I'm Jim Gill and I make my living writing and performing songs for children and their parents that they can dance, jump, sneeze and shake to, and of course sing along with. It's what I like to call music play. And over the years I've seen how it can bring families together, open lines of communication, and even help children learn. In other words, the power of play. Because play is, by definition, fun, it's easy to discount it as a kid thing, something they do when they're not doing the serious work of learning. But in actuality, play is serious, as critical to a child's development, and as natural, as eating and sleeping. Just as food helps build the body, play fuels the mind. And it's through play that a child actually creates who he is to become. Lana Weiner is a strong believer in the power of play, particularly in the way it helps children learn. Which is why, as executive director of the Cole McCormick Early Childhood Teaching Awards, she places so much importance on finding it in the classroom. Many people say play is child's work, and I think by that they, they really mean that through play a child creates himself. Adults, when they work, create a product. They create something outside of themselves and that has a value in our society. But what greater value is there than the creation of a human being? And it's through play that children actually create the human being and, and fulfill their potential. The most important thing a child can do is play. It's the natural learning mode for children. As they play, they learn, and parents need to know how important it is for them to provide what a child needs to play, which means play space and play mates and play time. Mary Sinker has made a career of creating environments where children can learn and have fun at the same time. You can see her handiwork at the Cole Children's Museum, a place built on the power of play. What I'm looking for are ways that the whole child can become engaged, ways for the child to use its body, both large muscles and small muscles, to use its mind in problem solving, to use its social skills in negotiating and taking turns and then most importantly to use that imagination and whatever I've given them as an environment let them take it to some place I never even thought of let them essentially design the environment all over again every day the idea is to provide a space where children rule there's nowhere they can't go nothing they can't touch the only thing that matters is that there are plenty of opportunities to play children need joyful places and the museum represents for them their own world to interact with other children and children of very diverse backgrounds. Dolores Cole created this center for children because of her deep conviction in the power of play, something she first discovered as an elementary school teacher. Understanding that children learn best when they enjoy what they're doing, she wanted a place where they could go that would challenge their imaginations and draw them into action but she also wanted to inspire parents to look for new ways to help their children play. The kind of environments that we've selected at the Children's Museum can easily be duplicated in the home. One can create one's own supermarket by taking out all the cans and boxes from our cupboards. We can allow our children to dress up and pretend. We can sing songs, we can use words, we can play games. The point is, play can happen anytime, anywhere. Even the most everyday object can spark your child's imagination, especially when you join in. What is important, whether at home, at school, or at places like the Cole Museum, is for play to revolve around things children can do, hands-on experiences, where they control the action. One of the things that has always guided me in my teaching career and in my career at the Children's Museum is an old Chinese proverb. I see and I forget. I hear and I remember. But I touch and I understand. 